Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Alison, the online piano and the online violin tutor. So today I wanted to talk to you about three reasons why you're having trouble playing in third position. Now this was asked by one of my subscribers. I'm really sorry, I can't remember who it was. It was quite a while ago, um, but I thought it was a good idea. I made some uh, a, a few notes and I thought I would make a quick little video on why you might be struggling to play in third position. So when playing in third position, it does require a little bit more work and a little bit more thought than playing in first position. So that means that there's more work with the left hand fingers and there's gonna be more work with the right hand bow as well. But not only that, because the fingers are actually higher up on the fingerboard, that presents its, uh, you know, a whole other um, a host of problems in itself. Playing in first position is very, very easy to do because the fingers are already there. When we're playing in third position, it's creating a different tone because you're much higher up on the string. So not only is the string a lot further away from the fingerboard, the closer you get to the bridge. So it means you've got to put your fingers down a lot closer than, uh, a lot more, sorry, than you do when you're in first position. But the sound of the string is a lot different because you're playing near the open string where it's a lot, where it's very resonant or resonating and not so much up here. Now that's nice when you want to create a completely different tone on the violin during your piece of music. So if you're playing a passage in first position, and then you decide to play that up in third position, it has a slightly more of a muted tone to it. So depending on what flavor you're trying to give your piece of music might depend on whether you play that passage in the uh, first position, down where the open strings are, or whether you bring that passage up higher into third position or fourth position, you know, wh whatever it is. So the three things that are going to help you in third position. Firstly, are going to be intonation. You have to make sure that your intonation is spot on. Now there isn't really kind of um, an exercise as such that particularly I can think of that you can do um, in third position for intonation, really a kind of apart from scale. The C major scale is a good one to do because you can start that on the first finger on G and play it all in third position. <laughs> that all in third position obviously go down as well you can do any scale really that that's in third position so practice the passage in question to make sure that your intonation is bang on and you know your intonation is there because intonation is going to go a long way into making your third position or to, to really make or break your third position The second point I wanna talk about is your finger. So once your intonation is good, you wanna make sure that your fingers are fully depressed on the string. And a lot of people just, you know, they, they, they don't do this. And, and this is where they come unstuck with it. But it's not just that, you've got to make sure that your finger is in the right place on the string as well. So what you want to do is to make sure that your finger is fully on the string. So not kind of the half side of your finger, not, you know, not, not any of this, but this whole full kind of pad, flat part of your finger. So this is where cutting your nails really short comes in, in handy. If mine are even a millimeter longer than, than they should be, then I find it very, very difficult to play. So you need to make sure that it's fully depressed on the string and that you're actually pressing quite hard as well. Not so hard that you're obviously causing pain on your fingers, but you do want to make sure that you are firmly pressing down on that string. So you wanna make sure the whole pad of your finger is on that string and not just sort of like the very tip, the very side, none of this, the full, the full force of the pad of your finger and pressing down on it as well. If you don't, you're kind of, I don't know if I can do it, but 
Now, I, I can't actually sample that because I've just spent so many years doing it the right way that I can't do that. But suffice to say that all I can tell you though is if you don't use the, the actual full pad of your finger uh, on the middle of the string, you know, right on that string, get on there properly, and you, you fully depress that string enough, then you're going to get a very um, wispy, thin sound. And then we add that with the third part, or the final part, which is the bow. So the bow and those fingers kind of go hand in hand. So the bow creates the actual sound, but the fingers facilitate this. Get the fingers wrong and the bow just isn't gonna stand a chance. So therefore you might wanna flatten your bow a touch or just give it a little more pressure, consistent pressure. Not so much that you get that kind of scraping sound, but um, you know, just, just so that you get a little bit more of a sound. So you might wanna play a little bit more flatter on the bow just so you get a slightly sort of more fuller sound. If you're playing sort of slightly, if you do play slightly tilted, then you might find that the sound is perhaps a little bit wishy-washy to start with. So it's kind of a, almost like a state of mind. So when I'm in third position, I'm thinking more power, more strength, um, pressing harder down on, pressing a little bit harder down with my fingers. Um, my bow is a little bit fuller, the pressure on my bow becomes a little bit fuller as well. You know, all of that is kind of like a state of mind as well as physically doing those things to make sure that you are going to be pulling off a good tone whilst you're in third position. So the intonation is kind of going to make your, your third position sound good or not, but your bow and your finger work combined together is going to give you that kind of overall good or bad third position sound. Those are just three things that, that, you, that, that you can use kind of to bear in mind to think about when you're playing in third position next and hopefully that will help you improve your third position playing. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.